throws away Dicker. And Martinez blown away this time with the slider of the day. 2-2 to Cooper. And he gets it with a slider. And he gets blown away off. And Rodgers takes strike three. There goes Marte. Swing and a miss. McCann's throw is a perfect one but can't be handled. And a foul tip held by McCann. And he struck him out with the changeup. Kept his own stats. <laughs> Wallen strikes out. And he takes strike three call. On the outside corner and he gets Marte for his 1-0-2. And he struck him out with a high fastball. One shy of his career high. One two coming. He struck him out. Will Tapper pass the mound. Lindor on the charge. Close play. Got him side of the top. Jacob DeGrom, eight terrific innings, but the Mets are. And he was guessing and guessing wrong. So Max ties Mickey Lolich with strikeout number 2,832. 0 oh, 2 to judge. Oh, Max pulls out the change upper. Hello, Mickey Lolich. Goodbye, Mickey Lolich. And 76 innings for the Tigers. We'll see that in 2021. He won 25 games that year. Or if he needs to go on a rehab assignment before coming back. Fastball up. Forget about it. Four in a row for Max in New York. That is perfect. Two balls, two strikes. Up in the zone with 96 in a row for Max on the strikeouts. Another changeup. So Max, two more strikeouts in the third. He has seven on the day for more deception as their careers go on. Wow, he made him look bad there. That's number eight for Max Scherzer. Swing and a tip and a strikeout. Number nine, and that's three in a row. 0-2, target up. That's right where you want it. Max Scherzer, 10. 1-2 to Harper. Struck him out. Diaz. 2-2 to Realmuto. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. Oh, we're coming up the wet days. Struck him out. High heat from Edwin Diaz. 1-2 from Diaz to Nunez. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. Edwin Diaz strikes out the side in the seventh. DeGrom and Diaz strike out seven. One, two coming. And he got him with a slider. Back to back strikeouts for Diaz. Yes. And he struck him out with a slider. Diaz fans nap to start the last of the night. He is just coming from Diaz to Miller. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. Left-handed option. Oh, McCann flies one to deep left center. Back in the gap goes Quinn near the wall. James McCann with his first home run as a New York man. A two-run shot. Now the Mets have plenty of breathing room. They lead it five to one in the eighth. Led the National League in steals last year, and he's running first pitch. McCann with the throw, Lindor with the tag, he's out! A lot of influence on the non-move by David Ross. The runner goes, the pitch outside, throw by McCann, and Bryant is out! So and McCann yanks one down the line, that's a fair ball going into the corner, and the Mets will grab the lead. Nito is in. McCann to second, he takes the turn and holds on there. A pitch hit RBI double for James McCann and the Mets catchers with... Run two after we hit a hit. <laughs> McCann drives one out to left field. Tapia going back, warning track at the wall. It's out of here. James McCann, number three hitter and first baseman, hits a home run. His second home run is a Met. The Mets are on the board. Yes. He wasn't going yeah. in as a starter. Will Tapper to short, charging Gregorius, throwing on the move, and safe. McNeil beats it out. And the break.
Breaking ball, pull past the first baseman, Cronin down the line. That'll bring home Nimmo. Racing for third is Lindor. He's going to be waved around, and the relay throw will not be made. So Richards has retired the first five and struck out the last three. And a Jeff McNeil unloads to right field. Forget that. Jeff McNeil gets the Mets the lead into the Coca-Cola corner. His second home run of the year, and it's 1-0 New York. First pitch swinging, down and in. McNeil slams one to deep right center field, headed toward the bullpen. It's out of here! Jeff McNeil with his third home run of the year, a two-run shot, puts the Mets on top. Walk to the pitcher. Hit sharply toward the hole, beats it. Around third, Guillaume, he'll come in to score. Jeff McNeil finds a hole and drives in a run, and it's 3-0 New York. One and two to McNeil. And Jeff lines one toward the middle, base hit. And the Mets will get on the scoreboard. Guillaume comes in to score. McNeil reaching out and banging one straight up. And McNeil lines one, base hit. Lindor is in. Here comes Smith. Here comes Bradley's throw to the plate on the hop. Not in time, and the Mets win it. And went right through the wickets. So a chance for J.D. Davis, and he lines one in on center field for a base hit, and that'll bring in a run. So the Mets cash in the Rockies' mistake. J.D. Davis with his first run batted into the season, drives home Conforto, and it's 2-0 New York. Good pitch by working with a three run lead. And JD launches one to deep left field. That one's going to sail out of here. Way back in the bleachers for JD Davis, his first home run of the year to get the Mets on the board. A tremendous blast for JD Davis. The Mets, who have not been hitting the long ball, only their seventh home run this season. And JD with second, Alonzo at first with two down. JD gets a breaking ball and hits it sharply. Base hit in the left center. That'll bring home McNeil. Alonzo to third. JD trying for two. The throw coming in is not in time. It's an RBI. Oh, he struck out and walked. And he slams one down the right field line, slicing toward the corner. And it's out of here. Francisco Lindor. So it's Lugo. And it's a line drive caught by Lindor. One away. His pitch at 93 that set it up. Lindor with a swing and a drive out to right field. Gallo on the move, still on the move. And it's gone! Swing from the Yankees dugout. He told this to Marley Rivera of ESPN Radio earlier today. Francisco Lindor's done it again. In that, in that regard. Mm -hmm. This one is hit well. Right center field. Straw on the move, and that baby's off the top of the wall. Not in time, and it's a one out triple for Cannon. Five. Cannon hits with very high to left field. Pollock going back, and that baby's gone. <laughs> Cannon hits yeah. one deep to left center field, and that baby is gone. So he bangs against it, and there's a little bit of padding where he hits, but above that, he crushed. Oh, now Canna launches one to left field, and that baby's gone. Left field, Canna going back, Canna still going back, Canna leaps, and he caught it! And that's the... Which would be understandable. Punched the other way by Nemo, that's a fair ball. The Mets have their first base in. It carries off the tarp, and Nimmo in easily at second base with a leadoff double. We finally made the play 
a split doubleheader. At least make sure they get one game in. Nimmo drives one toward the gap in left center. That's down for an extra base hit. And Nimmo loses the helmet as he cruises into second base with a leadoff double. So each team beginning the day with an extra base hit. Okay. A can at first and one out. And Brandon drives one to right center field for a base hit. That's going to find the gap and go to the wall. McCann digging for third. He's going to be waved around by Gary DeSarcina. The relay throw will not be made. It's an RBI double. Oh, Nemo puts that one up in the air. Center back deep wall. And goodbye home run. Just what the Mets needed. Nemo comes through with a long ball leading off the ninth inning. And puts the lead up to two. Oh, that's huge for the Mets.